Hi guys, this is Daniel Alexander Cannon here on Logic Before Authority. You're not going to believe what's going on. You're not. I can't believe it. It's back. I'm not even kidding you. Hurricane Florence is back. In my last video, I showed this clip and I pointed out the large vortex that's sitting over the eastern United States and I pointed out that Florence hit there in the center of that vortex and that the next and I said that the next storms would come back and hit the same spot and look what's happening I told you that you should stay away from these magnetic anomalies didn't I and look what's happening look at all the flooding out west in addition to the flooding in the east that's taking place on all the magnetic anomalies out there and look, look what's happening in the northeast uh, part of the U.S. on the big anomaly up there. They're getting the shit beat out of them now. We've got an unbelievable flood going on right now here. And we've got this thing coming now. I've looked at all the models. All the models have it coming in here. Two of the models have it hitting, looping around again and coming back hitting again. Well, not only do you got Florence has reformed and coming back, but you got other storms coming that's going to join in. You ain't seen nothing yet. If you're living on the East Coast, folks, you better be moving your ass to higher ground inland somewhere. If you look at the barometer right here, you can see that the barometer is at nine, 952 millibars. It was way up there around 29 before the storm started. And then it slowly dropped and came down here. And it was the lowest it got was 952 millibars. Now it the eye of the storm is supposedly moved quite a ways away, probably a, a hundred miles from here and it's only risen one millibar the barometric pressure hasn't changed out there because he's still sitting inside the vortex i mentioned several months ago in a video that the barometric pressure was getting strange out here on the west coast when i started this channel my intention was to give the world free self-charging battery technology specifically for the time when the shit hit the fan well, the time is now, but nobody was interested. Well, the electric grid's going down, folks, and I bet you there'll be some people pretty soon that'll wish they had some self-charging batteries. I talked about Krakatau or Krakateo in the last video and since then the volcano has had over 50 minor explosions and in the last 24 hours has had a bigger one out the clouds folks see the plasma color see the plasma balls see the plasma ring see the Birkeland current all the evidence you need is right there in the sky it's just going to continue to get worse folks and if you stay on them magnetic anomalies you're fucked I'm telling you I can't warn you anymore I've got to worry about saving my own ass now so I'll leave the YouTube channel up so you at least have access to the self-charging battery experiments I did. But that's the best I can do for you. Expect a lot more homeless in the U.S. soon. Anybody with any genuine interest in my research or me can contact me personally at my email. Take care, folks. Good luck.